Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. It is finale day! It is, and oh my gosh, I have to tell you that I think the narrative of the season, in my mind, yeah. other, other than one Chase, who is currently sitting in the absolute top spot with 44 points overall, a very impressive pull, basically almost a full two times ahead of second place yeah. Elizabeth with 23 points. <coughs> Um, but the big story of the day to me is this dang team score. It's the team score. It's like, it is absolutely blowing my mind the way that Team Grass has just, they have won already. Since we only started the team competition officially back in season five. Yeah. Since then we have had four champions. Three of them have been Team Grass. The other was Team Electric back in season six, I believe. And in the meantime, <laughs> right now on top of the leaderboard with 123 points is once again Team Grass with a commanding lead lead over Team Electric who have 75, then followed by Team Water with 61 and Fire with only 45. Man, but the crazy thing is if Team Fire were to say like pull the Charizard, they'd just win. They would just win. That's the thing. That's so just it, it. Only, it only takes one card. And it, this is like one of those things where it's like, I have to say, I'm pulling for either Team Water or Team Fire today. Like, I want to see it happen. See something big. I mean, Team Water could easily pull into second, but they got a long way to go to get into first. Yes, but the only first place ends up receiving the pick. So that's that is true. like, that Doesn't is the really position matter. that you yeah. want and need in order to get the payout. So, <sighs> well, let's start cracking some packs and we'll just see what happens. There we go. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is as ever time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you like to do the honors? Oh man, last time we had eyeball energy and the points were higher, so here's hoping we get it again, but who knows? Oh, a lesser spin today. Oh, let's see, know. let's see. It's going. What could it be? Oh my god, it was so close. <gasps> it's still... Oh, I thought it was gonna go again. It is in oh. fact electric energy. What? I don't feel like we see that often. I mean, there's. I know there's the Pikachu in there, there is the um, which also is one of our randomly chosen common chase cards for the day, along with Charmeleon and Ghastly, yeah. both of which I think we saw in fair supply during last week's episode. So hopefully we'll have a good few of those today. Hopefully the electric type advantage will pay off well uh, for for Team Water and Fire, especially. Well, let's I got, see. I got Say, I'm rooting for the underdogs. Well, we have another Lorne as our first contestant for Team Water today. So let's see if they can kick things off with a big bang. What would be, what is the fifth place water person right now? One, oh, two. Oh, let's see, yeah, that's a good question. Fifth, so 22. Two. I think it's like nine points. Yeah, somewhere yeah. at like nine points. You when, need when more than nine points, another Lauren. Yes, yeah, get on if the you board. Want okay. a, if you want that sweet, sweet pin. Let's see. Let's see. Well, even then, it's something that'll take some some energy. I know, some, yeah. Some doing. Do so we got our salad energy. We got the Scraggy, the Mime Junior, the Moss Shift, the Gimme Ghoul, the Primeape, the Artisan, the Lantern, Lantern will score. score. The Nimona's backpack will not. The Toad School will not. The Professor's the research, research. Boo! It'll wow, get you two, but that's points. three points. Yep. So three the Professor's research overall. is worth worth two. So just a. a, a a bit of a skid out of the blocks a for another another Lauren with three points putting on the board there. We'll see what we have. All right, but here comes Tex from there Team Grass. Let's see, can they mix it up? It feels like, it, I'm gonna feel so bad for another Lauren if this one's just like, oh wait. It's yeah, like if, it, we, if we just started on the other end of the box, but you never know, you can never know. I know, right? Any pack can be anything, anytime. Oh, here we go. 
<laughs> the electric energy. They've got the multiplier. Oh, Team Grass, how do you do it? How do they do we it? We don't know. Numel, Grap Locked, Iono, Kilowattra will score. The Sneasel will score. The Varum will not. And the Houndstone will. The question is, how much is that Sneasel going to be worth? And we will be getting a multiplier on top of it. Let's see. Number 182. 182. Ooh, number 182 for that one. It's going to come in. It's our first one of the season. So $3.31 for All the right, Sneasel. So four, five, six is going to be 12 points after the multiplier. And boom, just like that, grass is, I mean, they're at least on the top of the day. I don't think that actually changed their score at all. Yeah, that, I, I, in the top five, four of them are currently from Team Grass it's Unbelievable. Yes, it is unbelievable. truly, truly remarkable. <clears throat> well, here we go with Narwhal King, first player for fire today. There we go. All right, let's see <clears throat> what we can do for Narwhal. <laughs> And the grass so, energy, and nothing go. there. Yeah. So it's a, not it, good to be on this team, not yeah. very useful today. We got the new male, the not to, the Paldean student, the cottony, the, the charmeleon score, scores. the technical machine crisis punch, the dock spun, the, oh, the room. There we go. That, that shiny room. That will score. The mouse hold will oh, not, and, and the, the mimic you will. And I believe it's, it's worth two, right? a little bit extra. Let's just double, double check. Double check it. it is indeed, yes. Yeah, so the mimic you is worth two. Okay, and the room is going to be at number 192. Number 192. And that is going to be just worth a dollar forty-four. So for also room. two. So a five-point pack there out of the gate for Narwhal King. There we go. Five Thank points you. and a well shiny room heading your way. Ah. I'm dropping stuff. Don't worry. It's all safe. It's all safe. It's coming to you. Bam, next up, we've got another member for Team Fire. It's Dom. Dom! Dom, you know from Fast and the Furious, that the, guy. The one, the only. Probably yeah. Vin Diesel, you know? Probably. Probably. They have the same birthday as Vin Diesel. I mean, coincidence. It, that's That, to me, I feel like it's a joke. It's almost like, yeah, my name is Dom. I have the same birthday as Vin Diesel. Yeah. Like, what are the odds? Oh, another grass energy. Here we go. Lechonk, Charcadet, Clubopus, Varum, Oinkalone, Camera, Moonlit Hill, Lechonk. Oh, critical hit for Lechonk. Critical hit, Lechonk. Okay, yay. The Whimsicott is there, and the Cerulege. <laughs> oh, poor Team oh. Fire. To be there, to have the multiplier, but to basically whiff and get two points for it. Two points overall. Rather just fortunate. I know. That's just not mm. what you want to see. However, we should write it down because uh, there is the potential for this to be in Big Steve play. Oh, that's true. Um, so number 40 on the set by itself will only be worth nine cents. So that's that's not a bad spot to be in. Not a bad spot at all. Considering Steven only got the single point this season. Yep. All right, next up we've got Big Jake, first player for Team Electric today. They've had 13 points. They've gone 13, 12, 13 in the last couple seasons. So very consistent very, player. Very consistent play. Big, big Jake. Yeah, let's see. So we got the Frigibax, the Mastiff, the Ralts, the Magmar, the Clive, Ultra Ball, Primeape, Ghastly, Ghastly will scores. score, the Maractus will not, the Toad School will. will. Yeah, there we go. And that's it. So let's see, number five. I think that's still just going to be two points. I think so, because Toad School is like a first pager, right? Yes, it is indeed. Yep. So, yeah. so we'll sleeve so that up for you all the same. Give you a Toad School in the mail. There we go. Ba bam ba bam here we go all right next up we've got kyla ren kyla just kyla but probably ren most likely yeah, yeah i mean know, i feel like it. it goes without it goes without saying let's see here we go been watching scb since the first pixar theory that's a long time man i can't i can't yeah sometimes i can't wrap my head around just how long people have stuck with us so thank you Thanks kyla for watching ren. kyla ren bam dark tear drop energy the Moschief, the Barboach, the Lechonk, Execute, Whimsicott, Scrafty, Curly, Ooh, oh, the Espathra! The shiny Espathra there, the Clabopus, and the Raichu will actually count for two. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good it's call. Electric. Let's see the Espathra, number 214 on the set. It's a pretty looking card. It is, it's really else. cool. I don't um, think it's super competitive or anything, but... Yeah, just $1.64 for the old Espathra. Oh, really? So two, so four points total for Kyla. Thank you so much for your continued uh, viewership over the years. So just just as a quick note coming into the day, yeah. we have our score so far have been uh, three, five, two, two, four, and 12. Wow. And there's only been one grass player. And guess who that, that 12 went to? Yeah. Them. Them. That's crazy. Isn't That's it just mind-blowing? It's just like, so weird. I mean, almost combined, what, that'd be eight... Uh, what, 13, six, 16 points combined total for everyone else. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh, it's just crazy. Just crazy. All, All right, right, well, anyway, next up we have Jeremy. Jeremy for Team Fire. For Team Fire, let's see what they got. The underdogs. 
They're, they came into the day in last place. They're just looking for they're looking for anything, someone to, uh, to catapult fire. them. Yeah, they're, they're wearing their colors. They're proud to be who they are, as they should be. The Paldean student, the Fido, the Haunter, the Natu, the Nestball, the Charmeleon. scores. They're bringing the which, fire yeah, for real. Oh, the, oh, the real Lou. Lou. Yeah, that'll score. The Charmander. the Charmander will score. Will no, it? Well, no, 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 I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, the Professor's Research was is a decent closeout with two points. So the real Lou, let's check that one. Went one seven so, three. I think we've seen that one before. I real Lou is so. a popular Pokemon, but. Three twenty, so we'll have four, four, five, six, seven, seven points. Seven there we points go. for Jeremy. I guess that's something. It's Not the next best person today. I know. Yes. Yeah. We're 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 starting to get a little bit of speed going. So. But let's see as we continue to work through the box. Now we have Methy, another grass player. So I am just, I just don't know how it happens, but <laughs> the odds are in their favor. They all there seem is, to be. All there is to it. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I, I love it for a game that is complete random, but also it's just absurd in the meantime. I know, it's like crazy. The Haunter is a week late. Cottony, Maractus, Scrafty, Swoobat, the Gengar. The Glamora. The Glamora, there we go. We do score again. The Pikachu will score. The Raichu will score. Two, so, yeah. So yeah, there you go. All right, let's see. Let's see. Two How's that Glamora doing? The Dust Field. All right, just 97 cents for the Glamour. Oh, so what up. bad rounding. I know, yeah. So it's just going to be one, two, three, four points for grass. There you go. Yeah, there we Everyone go. cheers. Yes, yes, indeed. So it's it's that sounded like a nice compromise because it's a great looking pack either which way. Great looking card headed your direction, but also not not uh, rubbing it in the faces of the other teams too awful much. That's right. Next up we have Rachel for water. Can we see something big for Rachel? Again, I mean, just a single Charizard wins it, basically. That's it, that's it. That yeah. wins it for your team, it wins it for you. Unless there's two Charizards in these last 30 well, packs here, which well, would be outrageous. It would be. I just want to hold <clears> one. Like, I don't, it doesn't even, we don't even need to keep it. That's the point of this even, show. At this point, I don't even know someone who's pulled one. That's right? wild. You know, so it's okay. like, it's, it's crazy. So we got the Kalapas, <coughs> the Varum, the Mankey, the Magmar, the Primeape, the Artisan, the Lantern, Lantern will score, score. the Ghastly, Ghastly will score, score. the Maractus will the, not, and the, the Cerule Edge will. will. So, so just three points. Three point back for Rachel there. Not going to make a dent for Team Water, I am afraid. There we go. I'll pass those off to you. Update my scores. All right. Next up, we have Aaron B. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Nell's got them back into Pokemon. Well, you know, the Nell's that's, that's a great, fun. the great gateway for it. You know, all there is to it. Here we go. We have got Water Energy, so no type of energy. The Ghastly will score. The Ralts, the Toad School, the Oinkalo, the Moonlit Hill, the Camera, the King, oh, King Gambit. Gambit. Will there we go. That's score. cool. Scrafty will not. And Armor Rouge will just be the one point. But that King King Gambit looks awesome. It does look super cool. We have pulled cool one before. Two dollars six cents. So just rounds up to three, three four, four, five. five. It's going to be five for A. Aaron B. There we go. Way to go, Aaron. Aaron. But again, only five points for Team Fire. Not going to move them up the leaderboard. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. I've All still right. got faith for everybody here. Now we've got Megan K. Megan. Megan. K. K. How did Megan do last season? Last oh, season they did like 20. Some. Oh my gosh. Megan's actually been for three seasons in a row putting up big points at 22 points, 30 points, 23 points. So perhaps Megan can be the savior water needs. We'll see. We'll see. So we got the Tandem Mouse, the Whooper, the Execute, the Makey, the Mousehold, the Iono, the Kilowattro will score, the, the Flittle will score, the Flittle. Oh, it's a critical hit. It is a critical Whoa. hit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Off the shiny and then off the gold the shiny, dango. That's so, so weird. Haven't that, seen that one before. I know. That is a new one completely. <clears throat> so let's see. Number 164 on the set. Boy, look at that. What are the odds? It's going to be $2.69. Oh, no. So two six nine is going to be three, four, five, six times two is going to be 12 points. 12 points. Water. There well, we the, go. That might be points on the board for them. That, uh, yeah, I know. It's a little hard to keep track based on yeah, how our scoreboards are currently sketched out for us. But either which way, Megan, way to go. Putting up a solid score. Oh, here we go, Ben. A crowd favorite. It's Collard Cow. Collard a, Cow. A player who's typically gone for last place many a time here. Uh, they've got like sort of the uh, the electric energy seems good if you're going for last place as the type advantage because you're not scoring lots of extra points. That's true. That's true. So, so last season they put up 27, which is pretty solid. They did. So they took a different tack. Let's see if they return to form here or not. Grass energy. We've seen a bunch of those today. The Nimona, the Natu, the Rare Candy, the Cottony, Atticus, Mousehold, Iono, the Doxbund will not score. The Atticus will be a critical hit on the Professor's, on the professor's research. research, which gets them four points. Wow. 
The critical hit on the trainer cards you don't see very often either. I know, that's a weird one. I feel like those reverse hollows can really like mix things up in such a weird way. Yeah, especially because there's like more of them per pack now. Yes, exactly, exactly. More so. odds for critical hits, but there you go. Pretty, pretty powerful professor's research on the whole. Right, all right, Call of Cow 41, four points on the board. Next up is Jacob Worginus, Virginus. Right. Sorry. Sorry! Sorry! At this point, I mean, hopefully it becomes funny and endearing and not just downright infuriating. I know. Like the drink slash spirit. Here know, we go. Right. All okay. right, they love stargazing. Okay. Let's see. Club Office, Varum, Frigibax, Mastiff, Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, The Curlia, The Dock Spun, The Mouse Hold will not score. Press Research, Research will. will score. And The Executor will oh, close out. So, so three, three points. points for the Worginess. There we go. So potential energy continues to build. We're all just like on the edge of our seat. Something's got to break know, something, here. We're gonna we're gonna see something big in here, right? Who is our next contestant? We've got Matt Cox. Let's see it, Matt. Let's see it. Bring it home for us, buddy. Someone's gonna get something crazy here. There's like a little bit difference from the way you like do these packs because like when you have the booster box, you're like, there's pretty much always like at least a gold card or something. I know, yeah, like something you can count on. Something you can count on. These are just sort of like mismatch from like ETBs and stuff till we get the appropriate amount. Uh, Rare Candy, Tandem Mouse, Barboach, Numel, Doxbun, Nestball, Charmeleon Ooh, will score, okay. the Mankey will not, the Grievard will not, and, and the, the Espathra. Espathra. So Man. We've already seen the rarer version of the Espathra today, so this is almost certainly yeah. uh, not going to do it. Just 71 cents on that one, so we'll wow. round up to one. So two point pack. Oh, you man. hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. There we go. So two points uh, for Matt Cox and Team Electric. Bam. All right. Here we go, Ben. Does the We didn't have any mods in the last episode, but this week we have the return of the mods with Data Rage, who has done okay before. But uh, it's, it's, it's iffy, it's iffy. We, we've seen it kind of go every which way. Yeah. I mean, a few different strategies. Way back in season three, Data Rage threw down a zero, a zero. which was pretty impressive. We used to be able to do that, not anymore. Yeah, I'm so sure they'll come score. up with some other sort of marker card eventually. Eventually, that we'll just yeah. We'll have to dock you points for. But. And we'll bring it back, but not until then. So we got yep. the New Mel, the Natsu, the Paul Dan Student, the Cottony, the Charmeleon will score, the Dock Spun. I think I see something peeking out there. The Camera Up, oh, the Ferretris. There, there we go. Right. Card. Oh, and oh, the Palafin! There we go. And, and the, the Zatu. Zatu! So we got four scoring cards in here. How is the Forectress going to look? Because we know the Palafin. Yes. Well, do we? Is the Palafin two points? Two points for the Palafin. Okay. And then what is the card number there on the Forectress? 212. 212. Let's see here. 212 is going to be a dollar twelve for oh, the man. Forectress. So just one, two, three, four, five, six points for Data Rage. Six points There overall. we go, but two sleeve cards coming your way either way. Yeah, honestly, and I'm gonna call that pack a win. Like, if yeah. I go to the store and I buy that and I've got like know, two like, full arts, it's like, no big. No right, big. I'll take it. I'll take binder it. builders. Binder you builders. Know. Exactly, all right, next up we have Shauna for Team Electric. Has music playing almost constantly, so let's let's fire up some music. Yeah, Maybe. Let's get it in the background. Ethan, you know, unless it's too much work, in which case I wouldn't worry about it, you know. Maybe Ben will just do the music. Let's see, can we get, no, we've only had one electric energy all day. Mankey, Magmar, Charmander, Crisis Punch, Graplock, Nimona's Backpack, Armor Rouge will score, Ralts will not end the boss. Near record scratch. <laughs> oh man, just, so just two points overall. Two points for I tried Shauna. To, I tried to bring the energy for you, Sean. I really did, I promise. There we go, <laughs> well, yeah, we did our best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Either which way. There you go. All right, next up we have Fluffy Duck. The fluffiest, some yes. might say. This is Fluffy Duck's only second season. I imagine Fluffy Duck in my head as like a, like a Psyduck, but like yeah. fluffier. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. And it always makes me think of in the extremely goofy movie where they're doing the, um, oh, what is it, the Funky Duck? Oh, the Funky Duck yeah, from the right. Extremely Goofy movie. Yeah. With like a like a way too underrated sequel to a straight to DVD Disney movie. What is that what it's called? The Funky Duck? Is it called the Funky Duck? I'm I'm to be I honest, know. it's been a minute. It has it's been, been a minute. Ethan will find the clip, I'm sure. There we go. Yeah. Alright, so we got the Varum, the Charmander, the Dedene, the Nimona, the Domfan, the Electric Generator, which you almost wish could count for electric time, but it, but doesn't. it doesn't. The Graplock, the Paldean student does not score. The Pikachu, Pikachu will score. Oh, oh the Clive! Clive! How about that? I gotta bet Clive's not putting not many points, even the, even though it's full art and it is awesome. It's a pretty cool looking art. Two twenty seven. 
It is 227, Clive. Goodness gracious, Clive. Do better, man. 69 cents. 69? Goodness me. All right, well, that's just two. Wow. Two points. Come on. Dude. Pokemon gods, do something for us here. We gotta gotta get something on the board here for the fluffy duck. All right, next up, we have Sierra Cawthorn. Could it be Team Grass that returns us to glory? Yeah, yeah, let's see Brings us something big. I know, Grass is definitely, I mean, they've had a, they've had a decent day already. Water's also had a pretty decent day, so we'll, we'll see. But we know that Grass has got that legacy and it's salad energy. They're showing their colors. No uh, grass energy. Donphan, Emona's backpack. So much uh, rock is pummeling. Graplock, Charmander does not score. Barbush does not score. And Toad oh, Scroll. Man. We know it's just a single point as well because we pulled it a bunch of times at this point. That's true. That's man, true. Man, kind of a disappointing one. How? What is the? What is the card value on this? Can't it can't be like it's like not under ten cents. Certainly. Let's see. Zero zero five. Thirty seven. Yeah. So, yeah so. so. So not even a good last place bid there for your single point. Unfortunately. That's too bad. But a full art card, all the same, heading Coming in your, your direction. Way. Check it out. Look for it in your mailbox. There you go. Next up, we've got Vicky, who has done, who's had some good time in season six at 45 points, but it's coming off a nine point season here. Playing for Team Water. Can they do something big? I mean, I got my like fingers, toes, eyes crossed. I know, right? Let's just see. All right, so we've got the Nomona, the Natu, the Rare Candy, the Cottony, the Moonlit Hill, the Camera Up, the Atticus, the Barboach, the Toad School will not score. Oh, oh the Clive, Clive again! What are you back? What are you back for, Clive? Clive, we've had enough of you. That's it! Man, the, you wanna know what's kind of hilarious, though, is that when we were kids, we would go to the beach with a family where their names were Vicky and Clyde. Yeah. And this is Vicky's oh, back. Oh, Vicky and, and Clyde. Clive. Yeah, wow, yeah. you're right. So maybe a little bit of like a, maybe maybe this is that Vicky. A cosmic throwback. Yeah, exactly, a cosmic throwback. Yeah. It's a reference that only makes sense to like five people. Exactly. And they're probably not watching. Probably not, yeah. but anyway, there you go. Our second full art Clive of the day. Heading to Vicky. Couldn't have, couldn't have guessed we had two Clives coming. Me neither. All right. Next up, we have got Becky Borst. Becky Borst. Here we go. Becky Borst has put up some numbers in the past. He's a longtime player in the game. They're coming off of a twin. No, this was oh. they, so. I think that they they have been a patron in the past. Oh, oh, back they in took season a break. six, they took a break. They took a break. And, but back in the day, in season five, they threw down twenty four. Season six, they threw down twenty six. And season seven, forty four. Man, so they have like done some work. Okay, this is uh, this is Becky Borst is also the famous rival of Beck Squad. Yes, yes. So indeed. Beck Squad enjoyed a season away from her rival, but now it's back. And worse than ever. There we go. Bam, anyway, most likely. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Becky is going to throw down here. We've got Charcadet, Clubopus, Varun, Kilowatcher will score, Curlia, Clive. Come on. Oh, another Curlia. Is it's it a be? Let's it's, see. Magic yes. Shot. Yes, indeed. Okay. It so. Is, so we have a critical hit. Then Mime Junior is nothing, and Cyclazar. So unfortunate. Well, it depends on how much the Curly is, but uh, it doesn't look like we're looking to capitalize too much let's on see. our critical hit. But we do have one. We do have one. One fifty-four. Three dollars forty-eight cents. So four so points four, for the five, Curlia. Six times two is going to be a twelve-point pack. There we go. There you Very go. Welcome impressive. back to the game. That's just, I mean, that's what you expect from like an old vet stepping back into you know, the arena. Exactly. Just like they've been here before, they mm -hmm. know the pressure they're under, right. they're ready to do it. They come back in, they pull out the critical hit, they get their points, they go home. Oh, you think you left a couple cards on the deck oh, there. Oh, yep, we're gonna want that, Becky's gonna want those. Alright, next up we have Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz, exactly, exactly. Only their fourth season in the game here. They've done pretty well. They've done 9, 27, and 9 in the past, so little spike there. God, we cannot get another type advantage. I know, we're struggling. We got the Chin Chow <laughs> will score, yeah. though. The Varun, the Charmander, the Dedenne, the Lantern will there score, the Moonlit Hill, the Dawn Fan. Oh, the Tanner House. House! There we go. The Rare Candy will not score. The <coughs> Cyclozar. Another man. Cyclozar. That's Jeez. so weird coming from, because these are all coming from such a variety of different, like, skews and sets and pins and boxes and stuff, so. Um, what is the, the Tandem, Tandem Mouse? Is 209. 209. I mean, Tandem Mouse is a, certainly a crowd favor. I'm not sure how that translates to its uh, value here. Not too awful bad, honestly. $4.98. Yeah, so as know, far so. as the shinies are concerned, I mean, yeah. that's, that's not Five, not competitive. Six, seven, eight. Eight points here for a Robot Wiz. There we go for Robot Wiz and Team Grass. Okay, well team done. Grass, there it is again. Always pulling something. That's the other thing, though, about Team Grass being so competitive is that then you got to be one of the five that's actually scoring points at the top of that leaderboard. I know. It's, it's only the top five. 
five positions that are contributing to the overall team score. It's very true, but it often seems like even even so, Team Grass will like scoop up some rare cards that other people might have been able to get. Yes, indeed. Yes, you know, indeed. like yep. they, they play that defense from behind. Uh, next up, we have Andriana. It's you. Oh, it's me. All right, here we go. All right, Andriana, I got it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bam. Just like that. You feel good about this pack? I feel good about it. There's a thing you used to be able to do, like this. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to ruin your cards or anything, but then you could go like, and it would pop it open. I remember that. Oh, yeah. it sort of did, actually. Oh, it did. Look, it popped open. Ha ha! Wow, look at you go. Amazing. Teaching Hopefully. everybody brand new <laughs> and now tricks. This will be the Charizard. I like, know, it's like, oh no! It's like, oh no, it's badly scratched. No, I feel wouldn't. so bad. Oh, I thought the electric energy, so if it is the Charizard, congratulations on winning the whole show. Yes. Um, <laughs> Toad School. The Woobat, the Fampy, the Dedenne, the Scrafty, the Electric Generator, another, no, not another. Subat Graft Lock, the Mimikyu's worth two, and the a Great, great Tusk. Tusk X. Okay. There we go. So we know that the Mimikyu's worth two, but what is the Great Tusk worth? Just a single point for the Great no! Tusk there. Yes, indeed. Wow, just three points there for Andriana. Well, you got a sleeves card anywhere, and I got to do a fun, you know, uh, pack pop on you. Yeah, so. exactly. So enjoy that. You know, tell yeah. all your friends. Yeah. Kitten Ninja! Kitten Ninja, I will Welcome not subject to you to a, the stage. A, a pack pop. All right, so fine, man. Out. Look, our favorite Pokemon are Charizard and Jolteon. So look, Jolteon is shining down on you today. This is the day to pull the Charizard. Can you imagine? <gasps> okay, okay, oh, we got some. We got. Uh -oh. and this is for Team Electric. We have the Ninja. Electric type advantage. Ninja. Let's see. We got the Pineco, the new male. There's like quiet. I can like. I know. Like, like, like what is that? The Maractus, the Paldean student, the Dawn fan, the Nimona's backpack. Let's see here. We got the Grapple locked. The Gimme Goal will not score. The Fampy will not score. Oh my oh, god. Oh, it's a Oh man, I feel like. <laughs> Man! Imagine imagine if it had been Charizard, guys. Well, I'd be screaming. I know. Uh, instead, I know. it's just going to be a two point pack. Yeah, but so for what it's worth, though, so it's a two point pack scored by only 10 cents. So it could be a decent contender. Could be. Uh, for Big Steve Award. For Big Steve because Award. Because you basically want the lowest value two point pack that right. they that That's pretty be. good. That's a good way to do it, to just multiply off of a single low value one. Yes, yes, indeed. Because then you're not worried about two cards scoring for you. Uh, but anyway, next up we have Opal Tano, whose last pack is it me or it's you? you? It's me? You. All right, all right. Yep. We've got 27 points. He just joined the joined the game last season, came out of the gates with 27. Pretty solid. But how are we doing our first single pack season? I mean, it's a different beast altogether. Graveyard, Charcadet, Club Bapas, Varum, Iono, Kilowatt, Trouble Score, Score, Crisis the Punch, Palafin. the Palafin. That one probably is worth more than the other one. Okay. The Frigibax, and the Zatu is everywhere! I know, it's I so weird. Part. Yeah, let's check out that Palafin. So that's yes. number 124. 124. Let's see, 124 on the set. $2.31 for the Palafin. Wow, three, four, five point pack there for Opal Tano. Still their second best pack ever, actually. That's amazing. There yep. you go. Bam. Take that. But poor, poor Team Fire, still looking for somebody yeah, to come yeah. in and do they some need, heavy lifting for They need for a them. hero, they and they've only hero. got three more players this season, if I'm looking at this correct. Uh, next up, we've got Lando Mando. Lando Mando. All right. Lando Mando. Let's see. All right. Love to see something big. I know. Love I know. Someone's it. gonna crack it. I mean, I'm. Imagine if you're Chase right now. Like we're getting. I know. I know. Just here. Straight trembling. Like, am I gonna win? Will I be champion? It could be it. We got the Lechonk. We got the Execute. We got the Charcadet, Ralts, Clive again. Ugh. Whimsicott, the Scrafty, the Magmar will not score. The Raichu, Raichu will, will twice, as well as the Cerulege. So, so three, three point, point pack, pack for that. Boy, and Chase breathes another sigh of relief as one more pack heads to the box. There we go. How many competitors do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to go, Chase. Oh man. Here we go. I, I think I like to think that I the know. camera now, like if we were like on like ESPN, right, you know, like we're like, like, like cut like over and like I you know can't. pacing in like a green room I'd be somewhere. So just, like, nervous. And I have no idea what's going to happen, Chase. I mean, this is just the, the game. Is it the yeah, It's you, yep. All right, we have got Carly! Carly! Wow. Carly is uh, a known champ in this sport. That's true. Oh, um, is, this, is this our two-time champion? I believe so. It is. I'm looking so. back. Yep. We have yep. season 8, 101. Season 6, 97. Boy, Chase, I just really drummed up a lot of bad energy for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm mad, so I thought that was going to be the electric. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Rare candy, cottony, pineco, numel, electric generator, the swoobat, the Gengar. Oh! Uh oh, the Alakazam is in the house. Here we go. And the research. Oh! <gasps> It's a critical hit on the back too, which are both worth two. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. All right, so okay. what does the Zam work? Please be something. Please wow, be something. Wow, what? Carly, what juju are you doing over there? Oh my gosh. So four, we're going to have $4.35 for the Alakazam. So, so five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine times two is going to be 18. Goodness gracious Woo! for Team Electric. That's got to be contributing to the overall team score at this point in time. That's crazy! Harley, I don't know how you I do it. I don't know, know what you're doing. <laughs> this is like... Look at that. A critical hit on rare cards. I know! Like, I... who does that? It just, I, it's it's not the second natural. time it's ever happened. <laughs> That's crazy. And they're both the double rare. The, the yeah, rare cards are worth two points. That's so weird. This game is nuts, man. All right, here we go. It's Gil Druin for, for Team, Team Grass. Grass. There we go. Oh boy, Team Grass so coming down to its final can, few players here. You can only imagine Team Grass is sort of like, yeah, this is like where they're going to come in and crack their knuckles and do something ridiculous. Right. Oh, God, there's yeah. the multiplier. It's like, and, and then and then look, you know, right off the oh, top. And we got the <laughs> Pikachu, the card. which is already worth, yeah, it's it's that's worth two. It's the Grievar, the Fampy, the Chin Chow, the Artist on the Lantern, the Moonlit Hill, the, the Palafin, the Lapras, and the Houndstone. Oh, goodness, Man. this is the most amount of electric cards we've had in a single pack. So yes. that's going to be uh, two, three, four, five. What's the palafins? The palafins were three. Okay, so two, three, four, seven, eight times two is 16? 16. Look 16 at that. I mean, for grass. Team Grass tried to come in and do it. So, like, you know, that nobody's having any glory for one hot second. Electric comes in with 18 points, and then Team Grass sends somebody out there, like, shut him up, man. Man. Shut him up. Just, yeah. You know, they're making noise there. over there. I don't think so. I don't think so. We are not so. called Team Grass for no reason. That's right. We pull electric cards. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. All right, next up we have Jesse Utile. Also for Team Grass. Also for Team Grass. Only their second pack ever. They joined in round three of last season and only put up two points. So okay. this is okay. Jesse's chance to show team, the rest of his team that, you know, uh, they're worth it. They're yeah, worth we're, it. we're about okay. to find out. All right, what has Jesse got? Got Grass for Grass. Here we go. Varun, Charmander, Ndene, Nimona, Donphan, Atticus, the Mouse Hole, the Ooh, Toad There scroll. we go. There it is. The Artisan and the Zatu. So okay, let's we've see seen it. a couple of Toad Scrolls today, but this is our first shiny of the day. Let's see, number Throw 213 on, on the set. We have pulled it before. $1.85, so oh. a two point pack. So just a, well, three. Or three, three point three. pack. I'm sorry, yeah. Three, two so, point card, three so point pack. So Jesse does improve their uh, best pack ever, but only by one point from two to three. So still looking to bad that big score for Team Grass. Next up is Berkeley Comstock. And what is Chase feeling right now as the numbers dwindle? No, we're getting, Seven players left. I might have counted wrong earlier. Getting closer. We got the Fireball <clears throat> Energy. We got the Pikachu. Pikachu will score. Up twice. We got the Fampy, the Lapras, the Toad School, the Grappalock, the Nimona's Backpack, the Kilowatt. <gasps> the score. Scyther! Oh, oh man. man! I've been hoping to pull this one all season. Oh my gosh, I love it. So it's good. Such a beaut. All right, then we got the Dedenne and the Armor Rouge. Oh Ooh, man. Yeah. So you get at least some bonus J points, if nothing else, from mm -hmm, the old Scyther mm -hmm. there. We never get to be excited about that one. $3.00. Yeah. 18 cents, so that'll round up oh, to nice, four. A nice solid four point scyther there. You'll love to see it. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for Berkeley Comstock. Nicely done. They've scored what? Let's look at their points 28, 8, 20, and 8, and 8. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so so a strong affinity for <coughs> the number, eight, apparently. Yeah. yeah. The combined 20. <laughs> anyway, that was a weird one. But you got the scyther. So yes. Good for you. I was like, that's There's the one I wanted. That's right there. Look at that. Look at that. There's no fear of in this set that I'm aware of, unfortunately. All right, next up we've got Bubsy. Bubsy. Here You're we up. go. Oh, and it's me. And it's me. Let's see. We're coming down to just so many, f so few packs left to pull the Zard if if it's going to be done. If it's going to be done, I know. But I know. Wouldn't it be crazy? Just here in the end. Here coming, at the end. Coming into the last episode, I still wanted to see the rarest card we've seen. I yet. know. I no. know. And I'm like, part of me is like, whenever we have a single pack season, you normally have higher scores. So I had expected the winner, the winning score, to be higher than like, 44. Bigger than yeah. 44, but you know, and it still could be, but. Right now, you're starting to feel better and better about it. Fridge of backs, the Don fan not there, and the Reverum. 
Another player falls. I thought I think it's just gonna be a one point pack. Just a one point pack for Bubsy. For Bubsy it's too there. bad, there unfortunately. We go. Chase breathes again. This is like when you're watching your sport and you're like, oh my god. And then it starts all over again on the next play. You know? Right, 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 right. Yes, yes indeed. Here we go. Next up, heartbeat. Ooh -ha. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go, Heartbeat. What can we do? Last season, eight points. Before that, five. They've been growing. They've been got, got the got the type Here advantage. Go. Uh oh, the type advantage is back. We got the Ralts, the Magmar, the Fido, the Haunter, the Gengar, right. the Electric Generator, the Mousehold, the Moschiff will not score. The Mime Junior will, will not, not score. The, the Houndstone. So just two points. Just two points, and let's wow. check the score for forty. So seven cents on the Houndstone. So oh, wow. that could oh, be. That's oh, but no, solid. but it's a two times. So it could be a big Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two points, okay, yeah, there we go. Good good save, good save. Yes, so that's so, pretty solid. Seven, yes, yeah, seven cents on big Steve, that might be exactly what you that wanted. That might be the ticket so, right there. Heartbeat so. might have just scored the big Steve for Team Fire. I know. It not that there's any shared glory there, but, you know. Right, right, yeah, that's true. But it's there, it's all right. There. Fire has two more players, Ben. It is Akron Guy, and then we have Alyssa coming up in a little bit here. But uh, let's see. What Akron guy can do? Is it me? It's your pack. It's Let's me. See All it. right. Oh boy. All right. Closing in on the end here. Their best pack ever was 17, or their best uh, season ever was 17 points. There's the Grass Energy, the Mime Junior, Noibat, Chimeco, the Ghastly will score. Prime of Lantern will, will score. score. Whims got Toxicity, Toxicity will, will score. actually score. Yeah, we'll put an extra point there. And the Zatu. So okay. I don't think we pulled the Toxicity yet. It I don't doesn't recognize it. Doesn't read to me like it's about to take the lead or anything, but Yeah, two dollars and sixty cents for the Toxicity. Alright, so it's three plus one for the type advantage is four, five, six, seven. Seven. Points for Akron guy coming your way with the Toxtricity. We are down to our final three contestants. Oh my gosh. Could Chase take home the prize with 44 points? We're, we're so that close to finding to out. Beat. Jupiter Fox is up for Team Grass, though. Here we go. Here we go. Cra can they, Metal, can they, no type advantage. No type advantage. No multipliers that we know of. Uh, we got the Lechonk, yeah. the Charcadet, the Klebopis, the Varum, the Nest Ball, the, the Lantern, Lantern will score. score. The Oink alone. Oh, Lechonk! The, Chonk. There we the go. multiplier we the, is we back! The multiplier. We got the Ralts and the Mabostis. So oh. Just for four points, I wow. think, on that one. I think so. That's going to be Man. two times two is four. Man, very close. Very close. Hitting something. That's the thing. You just need. You just needed something. Just something, something. Something. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Two players left this season. We have Alyssa, the final player for Team Fire. They are coming off of a twenty point the last season. last person to kind of come and try to bring some of that some that of fire energy to try to summon the Charizard. Let's see it. Can it happen? Can it happen? We have a raucous pummeling, but will they deliver one? The Dedenne, the Nimona, the Natu, the Clive, the Whimsicott, the Scrappy, the Camera Up, the Goldango is worth one, and Claude Sire. Man. So that's not going to do it. How many of those have we pulled this a season? A bunch. That's not even the shiny one. Yeah, so just a single point for the Claude uh, Sire two there. Points, so two points, as it were, for Alyssa. And here we go, guys. Lauren, last pack of the season, last pack magic. There we Could go. Could it be? Or Chase, this is the last chance anyone has to beat you. At all right, all. Chase. Like, I, as long as this pack goes swimming. I know. You. As long as it's this like, pack goes like literally every other pack that wasn't yours. The first thing we're looking for, the first thing we're looking for is for it to not be an electric energy. Yeah, but so let's see. Let's see. And then Lauren on the meantime, one, for yeah. Team Electric, would love to see this. Oh, but oh, it's a rock, it's a rock is pummeling. Is pummeling. So now we're it's probably a, hoping for a critical hit. It's a good or omen, just something massive. Good omen for Chase. Alright, so we got the Whooper, the Execute, the Mankey, the Flittle, the Swoobat, the Gengar, nothing. Nothing so far the at Oink all. Hello, the Electric Generator won't the, score, the, the Kilowattra will, will, and, and the Paldean student. It was a rare card, but... Oh my gosh, watch not it peek gonna out. Have it. I'm pretty sure that's just a single point full art as is. well. I think the two, uh, this is like one of those where it's like, how could it be? But yeah, 95 cents. Wow, Paladin bad student. round. And that's going to be two points, which means I can at least, we're going to have to go back and check some other numbers for the other positions. Yes. But we can for sure announce that Chase is the season nine champion of Paldean Fates. Well done. With 44 points. 44 wow, points. Wow. And held on. 
for so for so long. long. I like, know. I mean, we came into the day, and you know, and and we were like, so from our perspective, we recorded two episodes inside of one day. Today. Right. And so coming into it, it was like, surely somebody surely. will topple the forty-four point mark. <clears throat> but no way, nope. nothing doing. Chase played phenomenal defense mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. will be the season nine victor. Then coming in for the quality eighth place was drawing hearts. Then winning our big Steve award was heartbeat. So <laughs> drawing hearts and heartbeat. That's amazing. And then the last place award goes to PC. So barring any highly unusual math, which seems so extraordinarily unlikely, Team Grass will once again yeah. be taking it to the house and, and those pins. those pins. Bravo. So very well done. Wearing proudly. Team Grass doing it again. That is season nine for you guys. We are looking ahead to our next three month season, which will kick off in the month of March. Yes. Where we are going to be uh, once again just, just diving into a brand new set of booster boxes. It's going to be a hooting and hollering good time. If you'd like to see us open some packs for you here on Super Carlin Gaming and Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash super Carlin Gaming, selecting any of the box breakers tiers, and we will crack some boxes. Yes, we you. do have some open slots. And don't forget, if you want to check out the exclusive merch tier, we do have cool things such as this awesome play mat, which was our, uh, our last quarterly merch. This one's not presently available. This one is not available, but it is truly gorgeous and yes. an example of the type of thing you might receive at exactly. that quarterly merch tier. So be sure to give it a look. Link in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!